Thanks, Connor. Glad we got Connor back there for a last little finish there. All right, folks, we are just two days away from watching Arizona football kick off in the Valero Alamo Bowl Wildcats in San Antonio, gearing up for that big game. News 4 Tucson is right there with them. Our very own Jenna Fink joined us live from Alamo City. Jenna, tell us how's everything out there? How's the atmosphere? Well, Robbie, it is absolutely beautiful out here in San Antonio. I am right along the iconic Riverwalk, and there have been boats coming along this part of the river all day long, perhaps some Wildcat fans on them as well. Now, the team hotel is just down the road, but let me tell you, those players have not been spending a lot of time in their rooms. They're enjoying everything the city has to offer. Let us go! Here we go. Oh, uh, it's nice. <laughs> That starts with SeaWorld, of course. Martel Irby and Bill Norton, some of the brave cats riding the famous Steel Eel roller coaster. Players also had a chance to interact with the sea lions. Here they are showing off their best moves. On top of that, Arizona has volunteered at the San Antonio Food Bank, played pickleball, and held several team dinners. Now, the Wildcats are practicing too. Can't forget about that. They're hard at work preparing for their top 15 matchup against Oklahoma. Arizona has a chance to win their 10th game of the season for just the fourth time in program history. Head coach Jed Fish says Thursday can't come soon enough. I think we're all at a point now we want to go play a game. And, uh, you know, we've had two good physical spirited practices uh, and pads. So last week we installed the game plan and practiced at our place and then came here and did a uh, what will end up being a four day practice routine and uh, most of it. So just kind of refining it and seeing what looks good and what doesn't and what do we need to remove and what should we take out and uh, not much adding at this point. The Wildcats just wrapped up their final day at practice at Trinity University a few miles away. Tomorrow they'll have a walkthrough at the Alamo Dome, then it's game day. And there are a few more fun events happening between now and then as well. That includes a live pep rally right alongside the Riverwalk, plus the Wildcats are going to watch the Spurs play tonight. And we'll have continuing coverage leading up to the Alamo Bowl right here on KBOA. Reporting live in San Antonio, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson.